Hi everybody, Babes Troglodyte here. Thank you for joining me in celebrating my 100 subscriber special. As you can see, we've got Brontosaurus burgers and Megaloink hot links on the grill. There's plenty for everybody, so grab a beer out of the cave cooler and off we go. Folks, believe me, I never expected to reach this mini milestone, so I've stepped out from behind the troglodyte news desk and have Logical Troglodyte and Dick Dawson on board, too. They have been my mentors and cheerleaders from day one, and I owe my success to both of them. Logical, what do you have to say for yourself? This channel is your fault, after all. My fault? I don't think so, babes. You volunteered to anchor the Troglodyte News Desk. It's not my fault you were good at it. Besides, when I set up your channel, I knew you'd make it something the audience would enjoy. And you have. Congratulations on reaching your first milestone. I'm very proud of my little cave gal. Thanks, sweetheart. Dick Dawson, you gamed up with Logical to get me into this. What were you thinking? Well, I wasn't thinking at all, babes. You see, how it worked was I was reacting. We both know that you had a deep-seated desire to jump into YouTube. Now, you can spread it around all you want, babes, but look at the action you're building. We know you wanted it. Come on. <laughs> Thanks, Dick. And what would a milestone video like this be without some serious stupid? I searched the internet for an alternative to Flat Earth, and you won't believe what I found. This is from a channel called The Real Truth Videos. Nothing personal when I say that this opening statement by, quote, Real Truth Videos, unquote, is complete horseshit. Have you ever noticed when the term truth appears on a YouTube channel name? It's usually anything but the truth. Uh, no, they don't want you to just keep paying your water bills. What they want you to do is keep breathing and being alive. You see, the human body averages 50 to 65 percent water, and the true average based on body size is about 57 to 60. And as such, how can you possibly tell people with a straight face that they shouldn't drink water when it is the major element of the body and a de facto, absolute, positively 100 percent thing needed for survival? Moron! Water is virtually everywhere, from soil moisture and ice caps to the cells inside our own bodies. Depending on factors like location, fat index, age, and sex, the average human is between 55 and 60 percent water. If we are essentially made of water and surrounded by water, why do we still need to drink? Well, logical. It appears they have some truth in this video. Of course they did. There's always a grain of truth that conspiracy theorists use to make their crap believable to gullible idiots. Exactly! This is complete cherry-picking nonsense. Had the person had the actual stones to come up with the truth, what they would tell you is, yes, water can be toxic in serious, serious high doses in the body, but the average person could never drink enough to get themselves to that toxic level, and as such, this disingenuous little shit knows he's lying. Get your face palm protection out, folks. Today's forecast. Heavy downpour of bullshit with a 100% chance of stupid. Oh, come on. Have these idiots never heard of water loss due to perspiration or elimination? Spoiler alert, that's actually a thing. That's right, babes. That's why frogs tend to die when they dry out. Water keeps them healthy and alive, just like it does for us. 
And you got to look at it this way. You go into town with your dog, you go to a store, and somebody puts a water dish outside so that the pet can have a drink. Why do they have to refill the bowl now and then? Because it evaporates into the atmosphere. So why do you think people have to drink water? Because they have to replenish the source just like everybody else. The government believes that we should all be drinking a ton of water. According to anyone you talk to on the street that's been programmed with enough TV commercials and public schooling will tell you we should be drinking several liters of water a day, the more the better. So don't fucking try and tell me that this isn't what's pushed. Don't even comment that it's common sense that we shouldn't drink a lot of water because God damn it, it's everywhere you look. Really? Programmed by schools and TV? Eight eight ounce cups a day is hardly a ton of water. Looks to me like this idiot has never spoken to a doctor about this. No shit, right? So not only did Real Truth Videos attempt to work in the Freemasons in this conspiracy, now they're trying to work in education is indoctrination angle. What's next? Breathing is a conspiracy? And logical, I've got to say, that was perfect because they were clever. They slipped the word programming in instead of indoctrination so they don't sound like the seething absolute fool parrots that all of these pseudoscience believers are. Now, you can tell that these people actually drink water because they're alive and they made the video. So it is absolute, utter bullshit. And the government push it onto innocent people. Innocent people trying to do the right thing, yet somehow never get the fucking common courtesy of being told just what that right thing is. Too silly to apply what the big TV told us. Too silly to apply what Cosmopolitan told us. I'd be more than a little skeptical if my only source of health information was TV ads and Cosmo magazine. I say again, talk to your doctor. You're right, babes. Idiots like this always want to find something to be afraid of. So I doubt they'll actually talk to anyone who has the information required to alleviate those fears. It wouldn't matter if they talk to somebody with the information or not. You have to have the intellect and intelligence to absorb the information and have it make sense within your own mind for it to be any good anyway. Waste of time. Move on. But what they don't want you to know is that drinking water is dangerous. And drinking too much water actually rinses out your minerals, vitamins, fats, and electrolytes, making you thirstier, hungrier, angrier, pissier, and drier than ever. If you find yourself thirsty all the time, going to bed with a dry mouth and water isn't doing the trick, consider that water is causing problems and try drinking less. Yeah, too much of a good thing is actually a bad thing. Talk to your doctor. See, the thing here is people are not telling you to drink water because of some evil conspiracy and indoctrination and yada, yada, yada. You goddamn morons. What's going on is a healthy country has a happy economy that grows. If everybody's sitting around sickly, nothing gets fucking done. How hard is this to understand? I'm not going to have any liquid, no water, nothing, and I'm going to see if I can survive. So it's around midday now. I didn't drink anything since last night. I do feel dehydrated, but I also feel kind of focused. You know, I, I, you, all, you hear all these things like you can't, you, you cannot eat for like a couple of weeks or a couple of months, but they always say you can't survive without water for a couple of days, but I feel good. If you want to see if you can survive without water, go ahead. The gene pool could do without some of the stupid swimming in it. No kidding, babes. A day without water isn't much of a big deal. It takes on average about 10 days for a decently healthy person to die of dehydration. And I gotta say right now, Charles Darwin is up there looking down right now, applauding. Yes, my theory is gonna take them out real fast. Done like dinner. Drinking water is actually dangerous and can kill you. Correction. Drinking not enough or too much water can be dangerous. Drinking the right amount is healthy. Talk to your doctor.
There's one way that I know for sure to make drinking water dangerous. Stand on your head and guzzle a liter. For God's sakes, people, you've, you're on the internet making this video. There's a site. It's called WebMD. Go to it. Read something. And really try to read because not only are you wrong, but you're preaching dangerous, dangerous stuff. And as far as I'm concerned, you need to be stopped. Well, that about wraps it up, everybody. I want to thank Logical Troglodyte and Dick Dawson for bringing some pizzazz and some rant to my 100 sub special. I thank you all for subscribing. And listen, I want to say to the people that made this crazy video, don't forget to stay hydrated, you fucking idiots. <laughs>